Hi everyone, Lolly here and welcome to my channel. And today we are doing an entry in the little mini art book, I call it. Glue book, collage book. Um, I made the little book last year and I've just been little by little adding um, entries into it. So today I'm going to once again use magazines. My favorite thing to do is take a picture from one page of a magazine and then find a word or a phrase from another page not related to it and make a scene out of it. So that's what I've done here is I've gone through some magazines and I found the, um, I think it's a cliffside there in the ocean. And on this page here, I don't know if you can see it really well, but it's a bunch of uh, dancers. So um, I think it's a Peter Pan one because um, she's flying up there. So I wanted to cut that out because I thought it would be funny if it looked like she was maybe jumping off the cliff or something like that. So when you do a collage like this, the story kind of gets exaggerated and may not always be real. And I guess that's why they call it surreal. So, but, so here I have um, put her at the top of the little cliff there and so the dancers are all looking up at her right on the stage anyway. So I cut this guy out, but he's um, looking kind of back over his shoulder. So I thought maybe he could be holding a basket or something like that, you know, like she was going to jump into it. But um, I couldn't find something that fit exact. So I found a big bowl and so I was cutting that out. But um, so here I'm just placing it like she's ready to... Uh, make the leap and then I found this dragonfly I looked for an umbrella and you would think in all the magazines that I had in front of me that I could have found an umbrella but no <laughs> so I thought it'd be even funnier if she was holding on to the tail of a dragonfly and that's how she was going to um, float her way down to the bottom so all right so haven't decided if he's gonna catch her yet or I found a coffee cup and I thought that would be funny, like she was gonna jump into the coffee cup. But um, I'm gonna put him here on, it's right on the edge of the ground there where the, kind of where the rock meets the water. So uh, I just, when I'm doing these, I cut little slits in the paper. And then if you tuck the feet just barely under that slit, you know, cause our feet don't sit, you know, exactly flat on top like that. So, um, it kind of looks like they're sunk in the ground a little bit. And so that's what I've done with him. So still pondering what else is going to go on the page. And then I thought <laughs> it looked like he's holding up, you know, on those shows where they hold up the 10 or the nine and how good the act was or something like that. I thought we'll just let him hold up a 10 like she's doing a great job. So, um, so because he's looking over his shoulder, I thought, well, he needs to be looking at something or somebody. So I cut out the other dancer who had her arm up as well. Just um, give that dancer a number also. So everybody could be holding up a score for um, the person that's jumping, holding the tail of a dragonfly. I think that's a 10 myself if you could pull it off. But this dancer thinks it was just a nine. So, all right. So what I've done with him is his head turning the other way was bugging me. So I cut his head off and I placed another dancer's head on there that was looking up. And so it was just shading there with my marker. So you couldn't tell exactly that it's a new head. I have such a good time when I do these kind of collages. You just give me a magazine and I just have a blast doing it. So, and here I am doing tiny and I think that's Aaliyah's fault because we've been doing mini moose for so long that now I'm not afraid of tiny anymore. <laughs> and uh, so, because I have a huge uh, collage book that I use normally and, but I've been using these and so the tiny doesn't quite bother me. So. All right, so I'm just going to add a little filler here, and I've just put some mushroom stickers down there. And when I was cutting out the jumper, 
I cut her head a little bit flat. You can't really see it, but so I just borrowed a hat from those people walking on the beach and I put it on her head. So she's got this little beach hat on now while she's jumping off a cliff holding the tail of a dragonfly. So, and I also borrowed the sand that they were walking on because the dancer here that I added, um, the second one is just standing on the water. And so, um, I needed to put something under her feet. So I just made it look like the sand extended more from the rock on onto the shore a little bit. So she has something to stand on now. And then, <laughs> let's see if it's coming up, I think. Oh yeah, I was gonna put this shark there and I think I might go back. I didn't leave it there because he wasn't really facing the right direction, but I still might go back and put him in there. So, but anyway. Little things like that. Now I'm just shading in, you know, the magazine is shiny, so I like to add my own shading in there to take some of that shine and gloss away. And um, just adds a little more depth to your picture. So when you're making a collage, you just, you know, add those little elements here and there, add in some anything, um, colored pencil, marker, you know, chalk, acrylic paints, watercolors, just add to the picture um, until it has, lots of layers and lots of depth and um it's just a lot of fun i enjoy doing these so here i'm just adding little birds they're little fat birds because my pen is kind of thick but anyway that was a lot of fun to work on and um again i really enjoy doing these so i hope that you enjoyed following along with me and i appreciate you guys being here and i'll see you in the next video Bye.